I'm gonna tell you the saddest story ever, and if you don't cry by the end of it, I'll buy you a cookie. Two months ago, I was the happiest girl alive. Beluga asked me to be his girlfriend, and we went on a date. It was super fun, except Lester joined us and ate all the food. When I say ate all the food, I mean he really ate all of it. I was left with only crumbs. That's not the sad part, just you wait. We did so much together. We went to theme parks, zoos, museums, funerals. Yeah, his grandma died. And nope, that's not the sad part. Be patient, we're nearly there. And then one day, we sat together in class, and the teacher said she was gonna come collect the homework. Beluga suddenly started to shake. Turns out he didn't do the homework so he asked if he could quickly copy mine. Now I'm a child of God. I can't allow cheating. So I said no and he was so angry. Then Skillchan came out of nowhere. Now in case you don't already know this, Skillchan is the biggest pick me girl ever and has been in love with Beluga ever since they were children. And so Skillchan the snake gave Beluga her homework. I really didn't think much of it but you'll find out very soon why I would later regret this. The next day I got a message from Beluga. I'm breaking up with you. What? Why? Because I'm in love with Skillchan. No, Beluga, please don't. You've been blocked. He blocked me? How could he do this? Just because I didn't give my homework? I hate Skittlechan so much. Is this a sad part yet? Nope. Keep waiting, cutie. So I cried and cried and cried until I remembered something. I need to get my revenge. No one can break my heart and get away with it. So I put on my big girl gloves, got my shovel, went to the graveyard, dug up Grandma Beluga, used some tools to bring her back to life, and told her everything that her grandson did to me. And boy, was she mad. So mad, in fact, she wanted to help me get revenge. So we spent hours baking Grandma Beluga's infamous cookies. But there was a twist. We added a drop of poison to it, and we secretly posted it to Beluga's house. But there was only one slight problem. Lester was at that house, and if you haven't realized already, Lester eats everything. And he ate the cookies too. So me and Grandma Beluga ran to Beluga's house as fast as we could to give Lester the antidote so he doesn't die. And there they were, Beluga and Skittlechan, the people who broke my heart. Now, this is the sad part, so pay close attention. Beluga, Skittlechan, and Grandma Beluga suddenly whipped out their guns and pointed it at me. It was a setup. They're gonna try to kill me. There's no way out now. I've been tricked, and now I'm gonna die. But they didn't kill me. Instead, they handed me a piece of paper. It was an invitation to Beluga and Skittlechan's wedding, and it had a little note right at the bottom that said, if I don't attend, they'll shoot me. And there you have it. I had to go to Beluga and Skittlechan's wedding and watch the love of my life marry my enemy. I've never been so sad in my entire life, but if you want to make me happy, become my friend and subscribe. I'm lonely and sad, okay? I love you, cutie.